Welcome back to RetroAxis. In this short video, we're gonna take a quick look at some of the projects I've been working on recently, and these are more software development projects. One thing I've been really wanting to do for the show is to actually have a location where I can actually track the systems, the games, the peripherals, the things that I've actually tested, and have a long-term record of these. I've also been very interested in trying to come up with a rating system that can really provide you, as the, as the user or watcher of this show, the ability to kind of see, you know, where my thought process is in terms of how I determine, you know, how, how something is good or not good and so on and so forth. So in order to share that, I've decided to put forth a database. And so I've been working on a program that'll allow you to access that using our website. So stay tuned. We're going to take a look at that. We'll take a look at the content server and the main retroaccess.info website. <music> So let's begin with a tour of the main retroaxis.info website. When you go to www.retroaxis.info, this is the primary server. And what I've got here essentially is a list of articles. Uh, you can see where the most recent article, uh, this one here on the Div MMC. I like to post a little bit more detail and information uh, about the show. So you'll find more details here, some more additional commentary, links to the various different uh, websites so here you can get directly to the Div MMC and Joy Pro One uh, expansion page. Also information on the ESX DOS. That's the operating system on the Div MMC. So additional links here uh, and and also further down below I did a purchase experience about uh, working with Byte Delight's online store. And then of course I've got the video embedded down here as well. Everything here is organized uh, by category. So you'll note here that I've got articles available. So if you want to look for a specific topic, let's say Sega Dreamcast as an example, you'll get a listing of those articles specific to uh, that topic. So uh, definitely check that out. If you're looking for an episode guide, I have created a handy table here which describes each episode uh, in numerical order and also provides a link to the video, uh, also a link to the files on the content server. A couple additional points if you want to learn more about myself or about this project, you can click the about page. If you'd like to reach out and ask some questions or make suggestions, uh, you can fill out the contact form here. Also the sponsors donation page. Uh, if you're interested in becoming a sponsor or donating equipment to be reviewed on this particular show or even loaning equipment, um, definitely uh, read about that here and also complete the contact page. Uh, one other thing of note is the newsletter. So here you can see join our newsletter. I've, I've made a note of that several times and what this does is it allows you to be on the mailing list where I can then send you updates about you know when an episode is, is available uh, or, or if there's anything else uh, of interest that uh, is noteworthy. Uh, we'll be sending out email newsletters uh, as, as we see fit. So uh, we also have a Facebook and a Twitter account. You're welcome to connect and follow us there. Uh, so let's now move on to the content server. So the content server is essentially an FTP server where I upload files for you to download. And these are files that support the episode. So for example, in episode one, we took a look at the C64 Mini where I had created a series of CJM files which allows you to configure uh, a game for, for different things. Um, so here I had uploaded some def a default CJM file as an example, uh, and we had put some other things there um, as well. Um, but as you can see, each episode essentially I've put, put files, you know, for example, Cayenne Pascal and G Pascal as part of episode two. In episode three, we looked at the Maximite uh, and so on and so forth. In episode six, I actually uploaded the 3D models that I used to create the ZX Spectrum joystick adapter. Um, so all these sort of things are uploaded here. Um, so if you want to know when this page was last generated, you can always check down here at the bottom. We'll tell you when it was last updated. The tool called RaxGen stands for the Retro Access Content Server Generator. Uh, it's actually a tool that I wrote um, in Ruby, uh, which allows me to um, essentially uh, automatically generate the static pages. So rather than having to browse um, in an HTTP style fashion, um, I actually have a tool that I wrote that actually will generate the HTML that you're seeing here. So um, it's a nice clean way 
to look at this rather than the standard, you know, Apache based uh, directory browsing. So that's the content server. Let's now go take a look at the upcoming database tool. Over the past several weeks, I've been working from scratch on a program called the Retro Access Systems Library, and it's a Ruby-based application. Um, I'm not using Rails, I'm using something called Rota. A guy named Jeremy Evans um, wrote several different really great libraries. One of them is called Rota. It's much like Sinatra if you're a Ruby developer, um, but it's really easy to use. Um, I'm a huge fan of his SQL. Um, ORM, so it actually has you know native support for that, um, and so I, I was able to actually integrate part of what I've written in another tool that I wrote called Ion Falls. It's a BBS software that I've I've been writing for several years, but I had some pieces in here from the Ion Falls software that I was able to actually leverage and use, which sped up my development time. And so here I've got a web server running, and you can see that I've got this UI, um, and we've got a menu system, which uh, allows me to list the various different systems. I currently only have an Apple IIgs added in the database just for testing purposes, but if I click on it, I, I can see details about that particular system. I can also go to software. And uh, I've got, these are all the programs that are currently added, only two. Again, this is all for testing purposes. But I've got categories where I can actually go and look um, for different uh, software by, by category. Um, here I don't have any, uh, thing in the, anything set up in that category uh, yet. Um, but as an example, I can click on Load Runner. Uh, I can see, you know, it's, it's actually in the wrong category, so I need, I need to edit that. Um, but I'll have vendors in here where you can get information about an individual vendor. I plan to actually have, as I'm going through adding these, you'll see a listing of all the software made by this particular uh, vendor. Um, so I do plan to continue to um, enhance this as we go forth. Um, but one of the things I'm, I'm getting pretty excited about here in particular is this retro access rating uh, system. And what I'm going to be doing is I start looking at games and software, particularly games. Um, I want to rate them based on you know their storyline, uh, their gameplay. How you know what's the replayability of this game? Is this something I would come back to and play again? How much fun was this particular game? Uh, how were the graphics? Now again with retro systems, you know graphics are going to be comparable um, to the platform. So while you know something like Wing Commander on the PC. Um, had fantastic graphics for its day. You know, I can't compare Load Runner to, to Wing Commander. So, but all things considered, for an Apple computer of the day, you know, as an example, I would give Load Runner an eight. Uh, sound and controls. Uh, these all things will then uh, the the average of those will then create the retro axis uh, rating. Another thing I'm working on is this popularity ranking. This will actually give you as the viewer the opportunity to come and to actually click the plus sign where you can then vote. Uh, for that particular piece of software and increase its vote. And as uh, as time goes on, I'm hoping that this will build a community of people um, who are helping to provide additional rankings. Um, here's a section where I'll actually add reviews for items. I'll be doing the same thing for systems as we add more. I'll add things like joysticks and uh, perhaps other devices uh, here as time goes on. So really exciting stuff. It's not quite finished, but I wanted to give you a sneak preview into something that I've been I've been working on, um, which is part of the reason why there hasn't been a lot of uh, videos coming out. Um, but as soon as all this is up and running, I'll get back to uh, producing more and more videos. But uh, that's it for this. I just wanted to share with you the the websites, and I hope that you find these useful. See you next time on Retro Access. Mm -hmm.